Aguilar, an assistant professor from the University of the Philippines, Leman, turned out the second part of the major lecture series on how you can simulate airborne transmissions across different scenarios using computational free dynamics. Since I've mentioned computational free dynamics, then uh, the solution process will be numerical, meaning rather than read the whole com uh, simulation domain as a continuum or as a whole, we tend to subdivide it into a series of points. In open foam, uh, we have this series of points over here. Let, my, let me just uh, minimize that. So we have a series of points here. Then these points, uh, si this, uh, this is point zero, so array starts at zero, point one, point two, up to point 882. Then we arrive at phases. Uh, the, the phases con constitute uh, vertices or, uh, yes, uh, or vertices so this indicates that we're dealing with quadrilateral so point one, uh, one phase contains point 0.1, point 0.22, point 0.436, point 0.42 and so on then the phases will constitute the volumes then the volumes will constitute the uh, each cell that we'll be using in the computational analysis and this will be in consistent with the results so for example if we open this uh, file containing the velocity values field contains all of these values so uh, for uh, for example this point contains this one uh, uh, this point has a velocity this one this point and that point and so on so basically in a nutshell that's how numerical simulation works and this is a tedious and complicated process which I will I tend to spell it out uh, little by little in the subsequent lecture.